okay welcome you all for today video this is very small video because uh, in some exams in chemical kinetics uh, you will be uh, faced this type of question um, in as my thumbnail in exam they will given two temperatures at temperature is T1 just imagine 300 Kelvin just imagine the rate constant is something here I have some data 5.7 into 10 to the power minus 5 uh, the units are per mole cubic decimeters per second by observing this units you can predict the order of the reaction how please go through my other kinetic video I explain everything about this units for example there is a common equation for units of chemical kinetic equation uh, units of rate constant how can we say molarity 1 minus n t minus 1 here t mean seconds or minutes it's time m represent the molarity moles per cubic decimeter so 1 minus n n means order 1 minus order by substituting first uh, first second or third likewise we can find out the different form of this units so according to this this should be second order reaction however that's extra thing please go through my other videos i'm not going to discuss about these normal theories okay however here this is at t1 temperature 1 your rate constant will be k1 we know the rate constant is depend on the temperature at t2 temperature just like in this question 280 kelvin or 7 celsius here 27 celsius okay rate constant will be at 2.85 into 10 to the power minus 6 per mole cubic decimeter per second and they mention at this temperature range during this temperature range from 300 to 280 activation energy and Arrhenius constant both are constant we have to assume during this temperature range activation energy and A Arrhenius constant will be constant these are the data provided data now how can we found uh, they are they asking for activation energy we have to calculate the activation energy of this equations this uh, reaction how can we find out activation energy of this process so for by observing this ea you can predict the probable possible equation what is that arrhenius equation we have to use the arrhenius equation to derive a expression a equal k equal a e minus e a divided by r t e to the power minus minus e a divided by r t however first of all we have to derive the logarithmic form of this uh, arrhenius equation i am not going to derive that equation because in previous video uh, i discussed that thing i derived uh, logarithmic form of arrhenius equation from this exponential equation however i will write down the logarithmic form you have to know the uh, log uh, derivation steps of logarithmic forms please go through my previous video however this is the logarithmic form ln k is equal minus e a divided by r t plus l n a this is the log basic equation here we are use going to using okay we are going to use this basic equation okay from this equation we can derive another two equations according to these two conditions when temperature is t1 this rate constant will be k1 so 
L n k 1 is equal minus E a divided by R. Now, when k equal k 1, t equal t 1, t 1 plus L n a, L n a and E a are same because we assume initially E a and a will be constant during this temperature range and we know the universal gas constant also constant ok. This is equation 1, 42 I will derive another equation L n k 2 equal minus E a divided by R t 2 plus L n a this is our second equation we got two equations for two temperatures two temperatures mean two different rate constants now i will deduct first equation from second 2 minus 1 i will write down i will write down ln k2 minus ln k1 is equal minus E a over R T 2 plus L n a minus first equation is minus E a divided by R T 1 plus L n a ok I can simplify this equation further here L n k 2 minus L n k 1 according to log rules this uh, deduction we can write down as a division L n k 2 divided by k 1 left side simplified what about the right side here minus E a over R t 2 plus L n a here negative and negative will be positive E a over R t 1 here negative and positive will be negative L n a ok now you can see L n a positive and L n a negative will be cancelled out ok we can rearrange the equation uh, I will use upper area ok now I will erase upper things I guess you may write down these old steps ok now ln k 2 divided by k 1 is equal here uh, after cancel out this ln a form now we have we can uh, write down remaining parts minus E a over R t 2 here plus E a over R t 1 ok. Now we can see E a and R universal gas constant and activation energy are constant we know that here we assume activation energy is constant during this temperature range and we know R is constant always. So, I will get out of them as a common factor as common factors minus E a over R both are common remaining part is 1 over T 2 here positive I get negative 1. So, remaining part will be negative 1 over T 1. So, L n K 2 divided by K 1 is equal to this you got this major equation this is the useful form of Arrhenius equation another useful form of Arrhenius equation. So, uh, I will erase this part also ok. Now, I can substitute this uh, supply data how L n K 2 mean K 2 here 2.85 into 10 to the power minus 6 units divided by k1 5.7 into 10 to the power minus 5 per mole 
cubic decimeter per second. However, these units will be cancelled out each other. Okay, I will erase those units because those are cancelled out. Okay, minus EA. Now you have to find out the EA. R you know, 8 point. per mole per kelvin one over three hundred t two means uh, two hundred eighty here kelvin and here t one mean one one over three hundred kelvin okay now you can uh, simplify this equation now everything is easy uh, my point I came to the point. Now you can find out EA. All the other terms you know. Okay. I am not going to solve this question. Please leave a comment. This answer. Okay. In comment section please leave this answer as a comment. Uh, this is end of my explanation. However, you have to remember this equation. This is very useful form. In most examinations, uh, they will ask this question. This is a very useful form of Arrhenius equation. So, every term you know, you can get calculate the LN, every, every term you can calculate from your scientific calculator, this kind of scientific calculator, okay. You can get the answer for EA, activation energy, okay. Uh, thank you so much for watching and please subscribe my channel. I am Hasan Kalungarachi.